Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. Something I should have invested in a long time ago, and I'm gonna bring you this video quickly to show you all about what's in this box. This comes from SBT. This is something I should have bought a long time ago. I have a 1993 GTX. I have a 95 GTX. I have my 1997 SP Death Trap, and Dolan's got his 96 GTX. What's in common with all four of those? I haven't aligned one of those. Alignment is a big deal when you're aligning your engine to your drive line, when you replace engines, when you replace motor mounts, and I've replaced all the engines. I don't have an alignment tool, but I bought one now. And I bought this from shopsbt.com. The link is in the description below from Clearwater, Florida. And I'm gonna open this box and show you just how easy this makes it and what this box comes with. This is a tool that you really need to get. And the thing about this tool is this covers everything from a 1991 to a 2009 two stroke and four strokes so all four of my jet skis here are covered with this one tool once i align it it's going to run even better with zero vibration and it'll extend the life of my engine so let's open this box and check it out this thing really is packed tight with these staples here okay so the 80-103b alignment tool let's show you what's in this Okay, so in the box, two plates. These plates are gonna line where your pump is. You gotta take your pump off your jet ski. These are labeled plate C and plate D. Basically just a, a little bit of a different bolt pattern on each one to fit the various uh, style bolt patterns on those models from 91 to 2009. So that's gonna bolt up where your pump usually bolts up and I'll show you that in a second. Once that's bolted, then you got this part here and this is what's gonna go through the hole in the middle and you're going to pass your shaft through here. That's the alignment shaft with the handle on one side. It's got a handle over here. And that's gonna go through and provide, I mean, these are all machined precision to make sure that they go in the back of the jet ski and line up perfectly. Uh, and then you have a couple of different adapters here on the end. These are what's going to go into the PTO on the inside of your jet ski. You know, you have a tool adapter here for an XP, you have one for an HX, you have one for, I'm not sure which this one's for, but this is gonna go like on the end of the shaft here, okay? And that's gonna go through to where your PTO is. And the bottom line is this, can, this is going to keep your drive line aligned so that you don't have any vibrations, you're not wearing out crankshaft bearings, you don't have any, um, you know, it's a straight drive line, that's what you gotta do. When, first let's talk about when should you need to align your CDU or PWC. So anytime you replace your motor or take your motor out or you get a jet ski and you're not sure it's aligned when you get it before you rebuild it, it's a good idea. This is what a motor mount looks like and there's various different styles of motor mounts. Um, and the CDUs I have, there's four of them. And what happens is this bolts to the inside of the hull and then you have uh, the motor mount that bolts on top of it. Well, you have different types of shims for aligning them. These would go underneath the motor mount like this. Let's say you put your motor in and it's cocked to the left a little bit and you're not perfectly aligned. So you can shim it on one side with different plates underneath the motor mount on the hull or you can leave those down and there's other types that go like this on top of the motor mount to jack the engine up a little bit on one side or the other. The goal is to have a perfectly aligned um, engine with drive line, and you can do that with various different shims with this alignment kit. I've thought about making my own and trying to make my own. Forget it, guys. It's too hard to get a precision machined tool that will go in and be perfectly aligned. And with this, you saw me building this machine re uh, recently. I don't want to take a chance and burn out the brand new uh, pump bearings or crankshaft bearings in this engine or ski because I cheaped out on a tool. So on my SP here, Plate C is what would fit on my bolt pattern. And basically, with your pump off, you're gonna put this plate on this, and you're gonna bolt it on like normal. Make sure that it's completely straight when you bolt this on. Once you get the plate fastened securely, this piece is gonna go with the long end here. It only fits one way. It's gonna go in, okay? And you're gonna screw this to this plate. That way it's flush against the mounting plate. Once you have those screwed in securely, as I haven't done, I'm just showing you, you're gonna take your alignment shaft and you're going to go in and you want this thing to be in the PTO. And I'll show you that. Like so, you can see that I have it in the PTO and I have my motor mounts loose. Now what I'll do is, once that's straight, I could assume that's perfectly straight into my drive line. Now I start shimming the motor on either side of the motor mounts to make sure 
that when I tighten the bolts down, this thing slides easily in and out straight. So I know that my drive shaft's gonna drop right into my PTO with no force or resistance on either side of the drive shaft. And you should have a nice, easy, no resistance like this when you go in and out. Now I don't have this bolted on, but you get the idea. Once this is in, you know that's straight? That's perfectly straight. And then just in and out, it should go right back into the PTO with no force. At that point, you can disassemble this. You have your motor tight and torqued. You can slide your drive line in and assume that you're gonna have a perfect matched aligned drive shaft before you go out in the water. If I've learned one thing over these last two years on this YouTube channel with dealing with these older CDUs and having to rebuild every one of them, you may be able to shortcut a couple things, but there's some things you just cannot shortcut. You gotta make sure you have the right tools to do the right work. You don't wanna get out there stuck on the water and have somebody pulling you in. It's not fun when you gotta work on the thing all the time, and that's exactly what I'm just about finished doing. Now it's time to ride these things all summer long, and when I align Dolan's, I'll make sure to get that on video, and we'll just see how out of alignment the purple power and green machine are, and how much different they run when I put uh, motor shims and get them all aligned. Thanks for watching guys. Check out shopsbt.com. The link is in the description below. Thanks to SBT for making sure that the item arrived quickly. Again, that's a real, real good reason why I order from Clearwater. It's only about 150 miles that way, not even, and it comes right away. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This thing's going to be out in the water next weekend.